Every game that you play, whether it's home or away, uh, is going to be a war, regardless of what's going on in the standings. So uh, any win is a great win in a league like this. I'm just staying focused and finishing. Um, we're right there at that top spot and we want to stay there. So you got to play every game and practice like it's our last. Make the region's choice for orthopedic care your first choice. The South County Hospital Orthopedic Center offers the very best care from pre-surgery straight through to your return home. Visit schospital.com slash orthopedics to learn more today. South County Hospital, the official hospital of URI Athletics. We've been good on the road. We've got to play with a little bit more poise down the stretch of games on the road. You know, it's a big difference between, you know, the crowd giving you energy and the crowd getting loud when you have the ball. I think that that's just something, again, that comes with experience. Uh, hopefully those experiences kick in in our last nine games. As much as I like the home crowd and them cheering us on, I like playing way better, actually. Give me more motivation and more energy. You hope that when they step onto the court in a, uh, in a, in a raucous type of atmosphere, in, a, in an electric atmosphere on the road, uh, that that turns into fuel for them, that that turns into uh, excitement, and that they embrace uh, the role of, of kind of being the villain and, uh, you know, and, and desperately want to get in there and make plays to silence the crowd. Going into the last night, I think our focus has been uh, our upperclassmen. You know, they need to step up for us, they need to play well. Uh, if we're going to have success in the last nine games, uh, it's not going to come on the shoulders exclusively of, of young players, freshmen, sophomores. Uh, we need our older players that are in our rotation right now to step up and play at a high level. Nine seconds to play. One time out for Rody. Uh, I don't know. EC made a great drive trying to get to the rim. Here comes Garrett. Up the floor for Matthews. Six to go. Matthews to the bucket. No good. But um, he got it up near the rim. And Gil was able to just make a play. Ball still loose, two seconds, still up. Baruta lays it in, and Rhode Island wins it at the horn. Yeah, it, was a, it was crazy. I didn't. I thought it was going to roll back out. I didn't think it was going to go in when it went in. I thought it was going to roll back out. But it was an exciting moment, though. We uh, we did what we talked about all offseason and all preseason was uh, was to finish. You know, was to finish every game, play through the horn, never stop competing. Baruta right underneath the cup and he is mauled at the three-point line. It's funny, the way we won that game probably helped us win that GW game. What Dan has done and what the players have done is put themselves in position to be in and win every game. And I think that's, that's what we can ask for. And, and I think that the, the belief that they have, the close games that we're winning this year that maybe we didn't win the last two or three or four years, is, is a confidence, and those guys can take that confidence, grow with it, and I think that is, again, a huge maturity piece that, that we haven't had because we have so many young players that is now in there. So they a belief that, that we can win every game. I mean, when you're playing against a team, the quality of GW, uh, coming off an NCAA tournament appearance, uh, one of the top two teams in our league, uh, clearly, they were going to make a run. You know, good teams make runs, whether you're at home or on the road. And, and, but I never, in any huddle or in any interaction with our players, uh, ever felt like uh, they didn't believe that we were going to win the game. Uh, they felt like they, you know, their preparation, their practice, the season that they're having to that point, playing at home, uh, they had a lot of confidence uh, in themselves and they had the look in their eyes of determination. Uh, I, I think we all as coaches uh, knew that uh, we were going to have a great chance to win that game because uh, this, is a, this is a great group of coaches. That's good, um, just knowing that being in those tough games that at an early stage, it's kind of prepared me down the line, um, whether it's these last nine games, whether it's for the conference tournament, or the next couple of years. Yeah, we knew today that if we didn't have a senior player step up, that we, we weren't going to win this game solely with our freshmen and sophomores. You're not going to win games in this league at that level just with your young players. It was about Will, you know, today, and uh, you know, it was about Will out there for us. Toughness, you know, culture. You know, winning culture here. We've got such a great group of uh, individuals in here that just wouldn't uh, let us lose uh, the game today. Just did whatever it took. Uh, you know, and, and that, fellas, if your confidence isn't just building and building and building, because you guys are, are winners. You know, you're, you're winning players.
you're a winning group. Uh, you know, right now we are, we're, you know, you know, in the NCAA conversation right now. This segment brought to you by Alex and Ani, proud partners of URI Athletics. Alex and Ani, made with love. That makes a huge difference. When everybody's um, more together and everybody's around each other more, we just build more of a bond and it carries off the court and on the court. It's kind of funny because I'm shy off the court, but um, just on the court, Coach Dan just told me to be yourself and um, just play with a lot of passion and a lot of energy. And, me doing that, it rubs off, like with TJ too, um, it rubs off on everybody else. When everybody's playing at that high level, you know, we're, a lot more, we're a lot better team. Yes, I love to play fast and get up and down, real physical, and just needy gritty type of guard. Yeah, I, I just love this game, I just love playing, I'm just having fun. I mean, they've been as good as advertised, and uh, their impact is not just statistically, their impact for us has been on our bottom line, you know, which is our record, you know, having 15 wins. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the qualities that the freshmen brought in, uh, the development of our sophomore players, you know, and then the contributions of, of a couple of our upperclassmen. Uh, but they've been uh, everything that we hoped they would be, uh, and even better, better workers and, and better winners. When you first get in, you got to get a little adjustment, but you got guys like E.C. Haas that, that was freshmen last year, and they got T.J. Buchanan, who was a senior, so he took me under his wing and he was helping me with everything, so everything's going real good. Um, when T.J. on the floor, everybody has to ramp it up a little bit, just how hard he plays. You have to match the intensity, all that. Like Coach said, you look down. I would say, like, as for, like, a friend, T.J. has been, like, the best role model, like, in my life, period. Like, since I came here, I feel like TJ is the best road of mine for someone that's younger. Um, when you first when you first come in, the game is a lot faster, but after a while, everything started to slow down. You just gotta take your time and let everything go smooth. But the scouting reports are a lot more detailed, um, whether it's for the other team or whether the other team's scouting you. So um, you always gotta make sure you game up and make sure you're on point. Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we, we uh, you know, they make mistakes, you know, but I think they're aggressive mistakes and you can live with that as a coach. It's what any freshman or, or, or sophomore will go through. Uh, and they're such diligent workers, and they care so much about this program and about winning, uh, you know, that they, uh, they tend to fix them pretty quickly. He was telling me, like, we was gonna play fast. Uh, he was gonna let us go a little bit, uh, play hardcore defense, play 94 feet. Um, he was just gonna let us play our game a little bit. Yeah, he, like, he, like, he likes to get up and down and defend, and um, that's the type of play right here. Yeah, you've done what we've asked. Uh, and then some, and, and then you deserve all the all the uh, you know all, all the goodwill and all the love you guys are going to get from fans and you know from, from people that have always supported you in your careers. You guys are doing amazing things right now, uh, and I couldn't be prouder uh, to be your coach. It's a great thing. Um, I like all the accolades and stuff like that. But um, as you said, it's a team game, and. Um, all the team accomplishments mean a lot more to me. I mean, first of all, it rewards a guy uh, that, from the beginning of the year, has been about nothing but winning. Uh, he's never been about points, stat sheets, how many shots am I getting? Uh, you know, he, he's about the right things. So to see a guy who's about the right things get that type of honor uh, is, uh, you feel great for him. And then, you know, it also, it helps in recruiting, you know. Uh, that's a national honor. Uh, it's national recognition. You know, so to have Hassan Martins and E.C. Matthews and Jared Terrells and Jarvis Garrett getting national acclaim for their efforts, uh, it's certainly going to help us when we go in the living room uh, of that next guy. It's not hard playing with these guys. Nobody's really selfish. Everybody likes sharing the ball. We don't care who scores. We just like to win. I think unlike, you know, obviously our, unlike our first year in particular, you know, there were many one, two, three defense uh, chants in our huddles because uh, we let our players decide what the word is when we bring it in. And, you know, you, you can sense that last year the defensive identity was, was, uh, was increasing you know, and then this year you know, our, our identity's changed and, and the kids understand how we need to win and, you know, uh, they talk about defense as much as the coaches talk about it. We go as defense first, 
And like we just say like the offense is gonna come, but the defense is gonna create your offense. So we just try to stick with the defense side first. I, it got taught to me that if you play defense, you'll, you'll be able to sit on the floor longer. And um, so that just carried with me all throughout high school and now to college. I mean, I, I think it speaks to uh, your work ethic. It speaks to the togetherness of the team and, and how much they bought in, uh, you know, to what our, our staff and, and to what our, our uh, you know, a senior like TJ Buchanan is preaching to them. One thing that you can control as a coach is your team's effort, uh, and defense has so much to do with effort. And um, you know, their buy-in has been great. And the way for us to be good and to be successful and have a winning season this year you know, was for us to really dig in and become a great defensive team. Um, it rubs off on everybody. Um, when we're doing great, we're rotating, we're talking, and uh, the intensity is up on the defense, and uh, we're a lot much better team. Our expectation uh, moving forward uh, as we become better as a program is that we're, we're going to score a lot more points and that we're going to continue to stop our opponent from scoring. Uh, but we understand exactly who we are, uh, the types of games that we're going to have to play and coach. They're going to be tight. They're going to be close. Just being disruptive, not letting them get into the sets, um, just pushing them out back towards the half-court line. I'm much, much harder, and then just being there for each other, just helping each other out. If somebody gets beat, uh, we know that we got help behind us. You know, so it's it's had a snowball effect uh, on the team. You know, recruiting the type of people again that we're going to change this culture. Out here, man! Yeah. Done, yeah. baby. Yeah. Let's go. And I got you, Gil. I got yeah. you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, we just want to attack the last nine, just make sure we keep doing what we're doing, keep playing hard, and just not try to let anything get in our way. It, for us, it's all about playing uh, with the same effort and intensity that, that we've played through 20 games with. But it's also, it's critically important, uh, again, for our older players, our juniors, our seniors, uh, to really give us uh, some things, some production, performance, down the stretch of this uh, nine games. You know, there's no off nights. There's no such thing as a as a bad win in our league. Any win in our league is a great win. You know, and, and for us right now, it's about you know, getting our guys rested, keeping them fresh, uh, but also you know making some adjustments here uh, to the way we're playing. Uh, you know, because that's what the second half of conference play is all about: adjustments. First night was great, but what's going to determine our season is how we attack the second night conference games. Okay, let's bring it in, boys. Back I think we'd be lying if any of us said we knew exactly where the season was going to head for us. Um, but I know this, that we've, uh, when we look back at the end of this year, we're going to know that, you know, that the culture of winning that any program needs uh, is now in place here. Uh, you know, and, and that's a huge battle to win. Here we go, fellas. Great job. Family on three. One, two, three. Back. Thank you.